buy my book, buy my book, buy my book. Don't do that. I am Evo Terra, and this is the Books and Beer Hangout. Welcome, everyone, to another episode of the Books and Beer Hangout, our weekly foray into all things indie publishing. My name is Jeff Moriarty with ePublish Unum, and our, ta our topic today is the perilous path to publishing, which Evo came up with just to watch me try to say while drinking a beer. So, and to clarify Evo's opening, when he said, don't do this, yes, you should buy his book. No, you shouldn't pitch it like that. Right. Yes. So, Evo, what are you drinking this evening? Have you had this? I can't even read that with your current camera resolution. That is the Black Racer IPA from Bear Republic. This is like the Racer 5 and the Racer X or the Racer 10, I think it's supposed to be called. This is their Black IPA version. Oh my God, is it good. Really? Yeah. Oh wow, okay, strong endorsement. I still mm -hmm. have to check it out. Mm -hmm. I am going with an old classic, but definitely in the you cannot go wrong with Stone IPA. Hadn't had one in a, lot, a while and picked up a bunch, and they are not long for our refrigerator. So. Yes, yes, yes. Goody, goody, goody. All right, so let's get to it. So you have been hard at work and have your second book out now. Yay! You, yay! You, in the Modern Indie Author's Guide series. Look at that. Oh, yes. Very nice. Yes, yes. Yes, and it is Making Killer Google Plus Profile. You get that right? We've gone over so many adjectives, I was worried there. I know. Like I know, yes. That is, that is that is exactly what it is. And it is out uh, today, July 15th, is official publication day. And, yeah, it's uh, everywhere, almost. We'll talk about that in a, in a minute. Yeah. So what we wanted to talk about in this episode is the path to that publishing process. You'd think that uh, people who spend so much time talking about the process and dealing with indie authors, this would be cake, especially the second go-around. No, there are still chunks in that cake. Yeah, yeah, the cake was the cake was still unmade as it is. And I, and I know now why publishers exist, um, because this, while this is not difficult, it's definitely something that I think most people can do, it is a giant pain in the ass. And the people out there who tell you that they really, really like this phase are either psychopathic or lying. I'm convinced it's one of those two, one of those two things. I've never heard anyone actually say, I like that phase. Like, oh, thank God I'm done with the writing. That's the part I hate. I only write so I can go through publishing. I've never heard that come out. Yeah, I've, I've heard both of those <laughs> crazy things. Really? Yeah. <laughs> well, you can just never introduce me to those people, and I'm just fine with that. All right, well, let's get to this here. So, second go around. Uh, what did you forget? What were the things that caught you on the second trip around the circle? Well, you know, we're, we're pretty smart, um, uh, at least in hindsight, you and I. And so we made, I think, a pretty detailed list of things actually to do to, to get things right. So, so the good news is all of those little things like an ISBN number and all your front matter and your back matter, because it was a second book in, the, in a similar collection, all of those things, by and large, were handled. The things that I forgot were more about things that I forgot how much I don't really enjoy doing them. And I knew I had to do them, but it, they kind of snuck up and surprised me. Like, for example, the book blurb, or sales copy, as I like to call it, but nobody else likes to call it that, so we're going to call it a book, book blurb from now on. Um, you know, the first book we have at Jeff is called... Well, now it's called Making Killer or Making Awesome Book. No, Writing Awesome Book. Verbs. <laughs> Damn it. We have too many of <laughs> Verb superlative thing. Yeah. yeah, so, you know, you would think you're having written the book on that, that would be second nature to me, but I mm. hate it. I hate writing a book blurb, and I can tell by reading all the other ones out there that <laughs> all of you watching do too, because uh, you're not very good at it. But anyhow, um, I went through the process, and, and I had to do it, and it, it took me about an hour took about an hour to come up with a book blurb that I was moderately comfortable with. And then, of course, by the time you get your book blurb done, you already have signed off on the book from your editor. And so you have to go back to your editor and say, can you do me a tiny favor and make sure I don't sound like a moron in the most important part of the book, arguably? So that was always a fun thing. All right. And now for our book in particular, 
it's not just out there floating free amongst the you know the ether. We want people to read it and follow up and connect with us. So yes. have fun with the landing page, did you? Yeah, you know, that's the other thing. People think that publishing means it's now available on the Amazon. I'm all good to go. And while that's a good thing to do, um, just like most things in life, um, if you build it, they won't come. You really do have to drive them there. And all of the efforts that you're sending people to, the thing about a landing page is on your own website is it's for every possible listing. So not just Amazon buyers are going to buy your books. I don't want to just throw the book to, to the Amazon world. I want to let anybody buy from whatever marketplace they want. So yeah, you need a landing page. And in our world, we need a landing page that is more than just the book is available, click here. You know, you and I put together something free we give away as a, as a part of that, plus our consultation that that's comes along for somebody who wants the, the extra stuff. So yeah, you got to come up with not only have to write that stuff, but you got to figure out what the hell it is. What are we going to give away for free? You know, what are we going to do as a consultation? What's the value? What's in it for all that? And then the best part is when your partner decides to go away for the weekend, the guy who takes care of the landing page, and you're forced to do it by yourself. That's fun. Sorry about that. I brought you back beer. And <laughs> That's true. That is true. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. All right. So uh, once we got the thing out, we have to uh, give away free books, right? Yeah. We pass those things out to people, friends, reviewers, countrymen, people you owe yep. bribes to. Yep. Yeah. You know, you and I are big fans of, of giving things away for free, and um, I, I am a proponent of at least you should give the book away to anybody that you mention in the book. And I, I mentioned, let's see, there's eight different people in this book who have Google Plus profiles that we recommend. And there's probably six or seven others that are scattered throughout either in the thank you page or somewhere else. So all of those people, um, in my opinion, need to get a free book. But you don't just simply send them an email that says, hey, here's the free book. I mean, you kind of want something out of it, even even though you don't want anything. I mean, it's, it's, it's really a no strings attached, but if they do feel so inclined as to leave a nice review or perhaps say something nice, you should go ahead and prompt that stuff and give them a reason to read it because I don't know very many people who don't have a mountain of to-be-read books on, on their Kindle device. So, yeah, you got to craft all that kind of stuff too and then keep track. You know, who did I send to this time? Who did I send to last time? Did, am I going to offend somebody by not sending it the next go around or whatever? So all those fun things as well. Ugh, maddening, I say. <laughs> all right. So what was different this time? What did you set up different from the first book that you put together, either in supporting material or anything in the publishing process? So this was a much more polished process. I mean, I just did the last one three, four months ago, so it was fresh, fresh in my head. Um, so it, a, a lot of things went a whole lot smoother. Uh, but there's some things that I did better. I think this. I updated a few things. Um, but I think the biggest thing we got to uh, was the tracking. You know, you put a lot of links inside of these books. You put a lot of links on your landing pages and other things. You want to make sure that those are working. And so that's that's tracking. It's in. So do you just throw so many Bitly links at something that it possibly breaks Bitly? And then the challenge with Bitly, as you and I both figured out, is Bitly loves to give characters that nobody can figure out what they are. So is that a one or is that an L? Is that an O or is it a zero? So then you have to go back and edit all your friggin' Bitly links for somebody who's got an ancient Kindle who can't click, and that's actually type that on a computer. I. All those kind of weirdnesses uh, as well. Fun, fun, fun. Yeah, that and you know, to be clear for everybody, this isn't something that is just obvious even to us. I mean, Evo, you and I have gone back and forth on many of these topics. There's other topics we're still going back and forth over, and uh, you know, there's no right answer to this. So even the, the the link thing that you just mentioned, I didn't really even think about the first time around. We have links in there, but. You know that whole process and and opening it up and I spent more time in Bitly setting up the links for the book that's coming out on Facebook than I have in the past year, probably two years. It's yeah, a pain in the butt. Yeah, you just you just don't think about those kind of things. And and I think the thing that surprised me the most is I assumed that this time through the workflow process that we have, making sure that I had every piece of content written before I ever exported an EPUB that I would maybe do two or three. I'm at 15. I have exported the damn book 15 times before the one finally went up. 
to Amazon.com or in all the rest of the marketplaces as well. You will export over and over and over again. I don't care who you are. Unless you're some crazy Superman, you're going to do it a lot. So, ugh, drives me drives me totally batty. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. And I'm going to start my numbering once I get a final version and cancel out all the other versions I've had just in sort of development. So Not a bad idea. Sick of that export button. So, <laughs> but you do have on, you know, version 15, which I hear is a collector's edition. So everyone wants to get it before it goes to 16. <laughs> uh, where do you have the book listed? And uh, where are you still struggling? Yeah, so I, I did our standard. Um, Amazon, obviously, is the first place uh, that I listed the book because the reality is if you live in America, uh, that's where you're going to sell almost every single title. Um, I listed Amazon first, um, and then I listed it at Barnes & Noble, and then Kobo, uh, and Smashwords. Uh, of all of those, Smashwords is almost like an instantaneous publishing place. Amazon takes eh, 12 or so hours. Forget Barnes and Noble; it's 24 to 48 hours. It takes forever. I don't know what's going so long. Uh, and Kobo went pretty quickly as well. So it's on those four. And I kind of got um, beat up over the fact that I wrote a book on Google Plus and I didn't list the book on Google Play. So I thought, all right, I know that I don't want this to happen. So I began the process of setting up a publisher account on Google Play Books. Um, and it is as if I was transported back in time to the way Google used to work in 2004. Google, I love you, but man, is that Google Play interface atrociously bad. I am so stuck, I had to reach out to my contacts within Google to say, now what the hell do I do? It's great if you want to put a book in a and, and, and packaging and ship it to Google, it'll list it for you quickly. But if you send them an EPUB file, <laughs> good luck. It's crazy. All right, and what about the Apple mothership? Oh, criminy. So, of course, anything you want to do on <laughs> Apple, you, it has to be tied back into an Apple ID. Again, no, no big deal. I mean, Google's the same way. And, and again, we're setting up publisher accounts. If, if you're a self-published indie author, you may not have the kind of problems that, that we do over here. But because of that, um, Amazon, or Apple wants to make sure that you really are who you say you are. So you have to enter in all of your company data. So your EIN number and the address and the contact name, they verify all of that with the tax firm, federation, government, IRS people, or whatever. Because I got a nasty email back from them today that said, you entered something in wrong, you moron. And so now we got to fix that problem. So I don't have our account finalized yet. Once that's done, I'm assuming the process to upload to an iBook store is easier because it couldn't be any harder than just filling out that damn form. Blech. Well, fortunately, assuming is extra easy with Apple because there's an app, and it's just I assume, and you click it, and it comes up with some wild ass assumptions. So it should work out really well for you. Cross and well, Yeah. Well, okay. Nicely timed. We've got one minute left. What has been I don't know the most maddening thing about the publishing process, second go around for you? That you're not buying it yet. Well, I'm looking at you, person. No. Um. You know, I, there, there, it's, it's. I'm, I'm, I'm sitting here bitch the entire time. And I need to take a step back and say, look, you know, it, it is a very rewarding experience for anybody um, when you publish a book, whether it's your first book or, in my case, this is my second book under the Modern Indie Author's Guide and my, I guess, fourth book or fifth, depending on how you want to count them. Overall, since I've been publishing books, um, it is still a very rewarding experience. The best thing I think about the indie publishing process is the fact that. You're in control, um, and the and the one thing that's maddening out of that though is when I hit publish, I would like for it to be live right now and tell all of my friends. It doesn't work that way, with the exception of Smashwords. I mean, you it's it's the waiting. It's the I've done all the things that I need to do. Everything is in place. Now I would like to say something, but I can't because I don't know when the book is going to go live. And do you think those marketplaces would tell you that information? <laughs> Uh, no, they are more interested in things than you. Uh, so, but anyhow, it's up, and I'm happy. And uh, here's to yours, which is coming out. Oh yeah, put me on the spot. I should pick the date here. So I'm shooting for next Monday. So hopefully it'll be a week from today. So. Ying Tang, you heard it here, kids. 
Monday, our last Yay. book. But congratulations Yay. to you, sir. Cheers. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, thank you. So thank I've you. got an idea for a future show. So, oh. so you're doing one on Google Plus for authors. I'm doing one on Facebook for authors. We should have a show on Google Plus versus Facebook. I'll argue Google Plus. You argue Facebook. Good times. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. Drinking in advance for that one. Yes, we certainly shall. So, all right. Well, thanks out there for watching our bit of silliness here. Um, we'll put links to various things. Like, uh, what should I put a link to? Oh, I know. Where to buy the book? You can find that at booksandbeer.com. Hey, speaking of that, Books and Beer is a production of E Publish Unum. We create guidebooks and roadmaps and something else, workshops. So oh, that's what it is uh, to help. Indie authors cut through the complexity of publishing. I should write this down, too. Uh, if you want more information about that, it's at epublishunum.com. For my partner, Jeff Moriarty, I am Evo Terra. Thanks for being a part of the show. <laughs>